Vicky Gomez is here, and I'm ready for this topic because I just saw Becoming Dr. Ruth at the Village Theater. So I'm all over this uh, love stuff, mm -hmm. just in time for Valentine's <laughs> Day. Uh, and you talked to a love psychic. I did. I did. Uh, reality show host and psychic matchmaker, Deborah Graham. She teaches people how to move on from lost love. I'm, I'm very different than your normal matchmakers. I don't look at you. I look in you. I'm able to feel and see your energy. Mm -hmm. And she explains. I go into your soul, into your spirit, mm -hmm. and I become you. So I'm able to see exactly where you need to be versus where you're at. And sometimes what you think you want in a relationship is not always what you need. So while on Zoom, I took my glasses off to see if she could connect with me. Well, you have a strong soul. You're, you're a leader, not a follower. You know what you came in here to do in this right. world, and you don't got to come back and do it again. This is your last rodeo, girl. So, well, wait a minute, she yeah. connect with you over Zoom? She did. She looked right into my eyes or my soul, as you will, and she made that uh, she made that prediction. I've had problems connecting with almost anything over Zoom, so I'm amazing <laughs> that she can connect with your soul. Yeah, we had some good Wi-Fi, but um, but yeah. So what she means by my last rodeo is that if you believe in reincarnation, my soul is on its last life. That's so sad. what does that mean exactly? I don't like that. What did you think about that? Well, I I was okay with it. I mean, according to the astrological chart, it's true. I'm a Pisces. My birthday is February the 28th. I'm at the end of my zodiac cycle. Yeah. So Graham special. That, <laughs> what? I don't just say you're like so upbeat about this. And I'm going, Mickey, it's over. My soul is tired. <laughs> I've done a lot of work in this lifetime. But listen, Graham's specialty is matchmaking. And Cairo News Radio's Diane Duthweiler volunteered for a reading since I've already found love. Will that love be there? Yes. I feel like it's already around you. I see a lot of red and red means love, happiness, health, wealth, and strength. But the one thing is, you don't like to give up your power. You like your four walls. You notice that about yourself, girl? That is so correct. Mm -hmm. Give yourself permission to have fun and make time yes. to take time to do what you really want to want to do because you're a person that's in your head. Yeah. You're vibrating, girl. Sounds like you got a good vibrate going on right now. Would you say so? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to tell that to Diane when she gets to work today. You're vibrating. Well, <laughs> Duthweiler says Graham's reading was spot on. And I and I actually got to hear it because I was right next to her. And I just kept, <gasps> <gasps> So anyway, so Graham's five tips for finding romance. Well, it's common sense, to be totally honest with you. I wouldn't even call it psychology or even you know, psychically, it's just listen to your gut because we're all psychic. So supernatural aside, keep digging. And if you're online dating, get on the phone, reach out, reach out and speak to them, but not just even speaking to them. If they're that far away, get on FaceTime, get on Zoom, make sure that you have that direct eye contact because your gut is your intuitive wishing. That's your psychic ability. And in the beginning, she says, follow the rule of three, three dates, in three weeks and wait three months before you consummate the relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about waiting till marriage? I mean, you could always do that. <laughs> Did you wait till marriage, Dave? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Oh, good. All right. Well, well, he's, well he's the one that said new. wait till marriage. The so conversation did not go the direction I thought it was going to. <laughs> Please, nobody ask. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> she was a lot of fun. She was really interesting. Um, we did have kind of a off the off the record reading for me, and and I thought, hmm, okay. She knew a lot of things about me that that I didn't share, mm -hmm. and I thought that was pretty wild. Uh, I d and but there is this part of me that's like, okay, how much is the psychology versus psychic ability? Mm -hmm. But it, it was it was probably one of my most fun interviews I've ever done. That's really fun. Yeah. So how does this change the way you celebrate Valentine's Day now? We don't celebrate Valentine's Why Day, not? actually. When Andrea and I first started dating 21 years ago, we actually had a fight on Valentine's Day. The following three uh, Valentine's Day that came three years later, mm -hmm. we fought. Oh. It, like, not fight, fight, but like we had an argument. Like, okay. we're breaking up. This isn't working. Blah, 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 blah. And so when we finally worked it out, we said, we're never going to celebrate Valentine's Day. It's cursed. <laughs> oh, my God. So we don't celebrate. We celebrate Sweetest Day, which is a very popular uh, thing in the Midwest. Huh. When is it? It's in September, I believe. Sweetest 
Day? Sweetest day. It's a Hallmark card uh, holiday. Well, so is the, in the Valentine's Midwest. Day. Right, exactly. So we don't celebrate sweetest Valentine's Day. day. I've we never heard it. Can you do a feature day? on Sweetest Day? I will I, do a feature on Sweetest Day for I've you. Never yes, heard I that. will. Who, it sounds super cute. Whose idea was it to assign a Valentine's Day story to a person who hates Valentine's Day? Well, I don't hate Valentine's Day, Dave. I just, we don't celebrate huh. because right. for some reason or another, well, it's it's a it's a cursed day in our relationship. Wow! So no chocolates for anybody, huh? No chocolates, no weird. roses or anything. According to Google, mm-hmm. sweetest day is celebrated primarily by women who treat the men in their lives with gifts of candy and other sweet gestures. Oh, I like that. So one. it's like the reverse of it's Valentine's. Like the, yeah, it's kind of like the reverse. But we would sell. But it's a big thing in the Midwest. It's a so, Michigan thing. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, that kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. right. Thank you, Meg. I think we've You're all learned welcome. something today. I'm glad. Yeah. Here to help. Almost yeah, too much. I, I, she's is... almost done, so thanks <laughs> for being here, Vicki. <laughs>